Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So we are currently on the mid-season wait for season 10 of The Walking Dead. The back eight episodes will start to air February next month. And we don't know too much about season 10B right now. All they've released is pretty much a little teaser. It's like a minute and a half, and it shows some cool things. We see Alpha covered in blood. It looks like there's some battle. Gabriel and, and other Alexandrians are, are fighting in some battle. And Gamma goes to Alexandria to tell them that that group of people are trapped in the cave. Daryl, Carol, Aaron, Magna, Connie, those people. We see Daryl and Carol sitting on a tree are sitting by a tree and they're they're talking it looks like at least those two are confirmed to have made it out of that cave and one part of the teaser is kind of interesting we see what well, looks like Eugene about to kiss Rosita and Rosita's smiling she she looks like she's okay with it like she's I don't know like like she's just ready to be with him or something I, I don't know I, I don't know I don't know if it's a hallucination or if it's if it's a fantasy of Eugene's or if he's like dreaming or if he leans in to kiss her and then she's like whoa no don't do that well you I don't like you that way or something but then like she looks Looks, I mean, he's slowly leaning in. We see it in the in the teaser trailer. He's slowly leaning in, and Rosita looks like she knows what's going on, and she's not resisting. So, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Rosita and Eugene. It could be nothing. It, it could be nothing. I mean, we we had that Michonne and, and Ezekiel kiss in the the teaser for season 10a and everyone freaked out about that because they're like oh she's she's moving on from rick and they can't do that and then it just turned out to be nothing pretty much it was a joke pretty much i mean yes he technically kisses her but he, he's just like he's just not thinking straight and he's really emotional and michonne doesn't reciprocate in any way and he apologizes and she forgives him but that's the end of it so it doesn't really mean anything. Now the question is, is this Rosita Eugene moment like that? Is it just, is it not going to mean anything? Or are we getting Rosita and Eugene as a couple in season 10B? Do Rosita and Gabriel break up? Does Gabriel die? It's interesting because Rosita and Eugene, they, they've had a dynamic since season four. They've had one of the longest dynamics of the show. Pretty much the longest, it, one of the longest dynamics besides Daryl and Carol. You know, they've they've had a dynamic for seven years now, and Eugene has always had feelings for Rosita. He's always wanted to be with Rosita, and Rosita just does not seem to have feelings for him. She just wants to be friends with him. And the thing that surprises me is that I thought they were done with this last season. I thought they resolved this this subplot with Eugene and Rosita. Because they had this whole thing where Eugene is confessing his love for her, but she she doesn't she doesn't like him back, and then he finds out that she's pregnant with Sadiq's baby, who she slept with casually, but now she's in a relationship with Gabriel, but she's pregnant with Sadiq's baby, and and Gabriel's kind of like uh, you're you're pregnant with someone else's kid. I don't know if I want to be with you, and Eugene is like uh, Eugene takes it upon himself to be selfless and actually do the selfless thing and he goes up to Gabriel and is like look she loves you she chose you out of you me and Sadiq Rosita chose you you need to be with her I'm in love with her but she doesn't love me back you need to be with her you need to make her happy and he, he convinces him to stay with Rosita and then Rosita finds out about it, so she becomes a little nicer to Eugene, and it seems like they're just going to be the close friends, and that's the end of it. I thought that was the end of it. I, I thought they resolved that, but then in season 10, we're still getting Eugene trying to get with Rosita, Eugene still having feelings for Rosita, so it seems like they haven't resolved it. And I'm not even sure how I feel about it. I kind of feel like they're just dragging it out. I, I mean, the, the, people were making fun of the whole love love quadrangle thing between Rosita, City, Gabriel, Eugene. You, you got these three men that all want to be with Rosita. And Rosie is with Gabriel, but these, you got these other two men that are still kind of fighting over her. And I thought it was a joke. I, I thought it was just kind of a joke. It's something that they were just 
the writers were just kind of having fun with. I didn't know that it was actually going to be a love quadrangle. I thought that it was just, okay, she's got Coco. You know, she's with Gabriel, but Sadiq's going to, you know, help. He's going to, like, help babysit the Coco. They're, all three men are going to, like, take turns babysitting Coco and helping out Rosita. Just, like, one man that she's with and then two uncles, pretty much. And, then you know, it'd be kind of funny and goofy because they all had some sort of romantic connection, but she was really with Gabriel. I thought it was just supposed to be kind of funny, but... Season 10A comes along, and it's 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 pretty evident that that Sadiq had he still had feelings for Rosita. I mean, I, that's my interpretation. He still had feelings for her. He still kind of wishes that she chose him, not Gabriel. And then with Eugene, definitely. Now with Sadiq, Sadiq's dead, so. <laughs> You know, you know, he's out of the way. I don't know if Eugene's thinking, okay, one down, one to go. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, Sadiq's dead, so it is no longer a love quadrangle. It is a love triangle between Rosita, Eugene, and Gabriel. Now, I mean, like I said, I don't know what's going on with Gabriel. I mean, Rosita and Gabriel have had a couple of arguments. You know, they've they've had moments where it almost seemed like they might break up. But for the most part, they've they've been pretty close. They've been a tight couple, and and I thought that, you know, they they were going to stay that way. I thought they were going to stay together, and now they might stay together. I don't know. I I don't know if if I mean I don't. I hope Rosita doesn't cheat on Gabriel. Like if she kisses Eugene and she wants to be with Eugene, she needs to break up with Gabriel immediately. Like don't waste any time. Immediately break up with him, and then be with Eugene. And, I mean, I don't know, I mean, there's Gabriel's comic death that's that's coming up. I feel like, at this rate, they won't even get to that moment until season 11, and I don't even know if they're going to give that exact comic death to Gabriel unless they do it sooner, in which case Gabriel could die in season 10b, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with Eugene and Rosita. I'm not, I mean... Maybe it's a, a hallucination or a dream or something, because I'm not sure I, I see Rosita reciproca reciprocating Eugene's feelings. I just don't know if I see it. I mean, I, I don't know if I see chemistry between them. I, I, I don't know. I, I like them as friends. I don't know if I see romantic chemistry between them. But there is a slight possibility that they could get together. I mean, he's always fighting for her. He's always fighting for her. And he's not the, he's, Eugene has developed and he's grown as a person and he's, he's still Eugene. I mean, he still has his weird way of talking and everything. And he still seems like he has some level of, of autism, but he's, he's, not as as goofy or stupid or weird or whatever as he was in say you know season four five six seven he's grown a lot since then he's he's become more of a more of a man more of a warrior more brave when we first met Eugene he, he would just run away from Walker now he, he he fights them head on I mean he'll he's at that point where he'll sacrifice his life for Rosita he would I believe that he would that's how much he's changed he's he's become a lot more selfless a lot more brave a, a lot a lot tougher he's really come into his own and and really adapted adapted as a as a, as a strong, capable survivor in the ap apocalypse, albeit one that's still, you know, kind of, he's got his weird way of talking and he's really smart and everything. But maybe he's changed enough to where Rosita could be attracted to him. I don't know. Maybe she just wants to sleep with him to put him out of his misery. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. I, it, it's... It, it could be anything. It could be any number of things. He's hallucinating. Gabriel dies. He tries to kiss her, and she, she like, pushes him off of her, and is like, no, I don't want to kiss you. I don't know. I don't know. It, it could be anything. It really could be anything. But uh, the, the thing I'm frustrated with is that I, I want... Particularly with Rosita's character, I want more than this. I want them. I want the writers to do more with these characters besides just have them fighting over Rosita. You know, just like I, I want them to be actual characters with actual character development and story arcs. I mean, there's there's this serious stuff going on. These these whispers and, and 
I mean, there's no time for them to be having some crappy soap opera love story. And it seems like that's a lot of what they did with those characters in the first half of season 10. I, I want them to, to do more than have the just a, a love triangle. I want Gabriel, Rosita, and Eugene to get actual good you know, storylines and, and, and good material. So I'm hoping that they, they, they move away from this whole all these men fighting over Rosita and actually focus a little bit more on building these characters and developing them. But it, it could just be a joke. I mean, it could be something that doesn't mean much of anything. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to get together, if Gabriel's going to die, wh whatever. I mean, it, it could be anything. It really could. It's really hard to pinpoint exactly what the writer's plans are for the characters of Eugene, Rosita, and Gabriel at this point. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, don't be shy. Hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one to two Walking Dead videos per day. So please hit that subscribe button. Right now we are at 738 subscribers. My goal is to try to get to 800 in the next few months. So just remember, every subscriber counts. Every bit of support matters and is very, very appreciated. Hopefully we can get to that goal of 800. Anyway, with all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.